Following Tobey Maguire's presence in Spider-Man No Way Home, many have speculated about the possibility of Spider-Man 4. After working on Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, filmmaker Sam Raimi also discussed Spider-Man 3's sequel. Raimi told Fandango that there are presently no plans, although he expressed his optimism about Spider-Man 4's potential. After directing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, he believes that everything is possible in the MCU. He said, I've come to realize after making Doctor Strange that anything is possible, really anything in the Marvel Universe, any team-ups. I love Toby. I love Kirsten Dunst. I think all things are possible. I don't really have a story or a plan. I don't know if Marvel would be interested in that right now. I don't know what their thoughts are about that. I haven't really pursued that. But it sounds beautiful. Even if it wasn't a Spider-Man movie, I'd love to work with Toby again, in a different role. On the other hand, the hashtag Make Raimi Spider-Man 4 is trending on Twitter today, with over 20,000 tweets in favor of a sequel to the filmmaker's original Spider trilogy. In the months after the release of Spider-Man No Way Home, in which the Marvel multiverse opened up and both Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield appeared on screen with Tom Holland's Spider-Man, the demand for a third Amazing Spider-Man or a fourth Raimi Spider-Man film has only grown. Garfield has stated that he would return under the appropriate conditions, and there have been several calls for him to be given another chance. The Raimi movement is less shocking than the Amazing one. Raimi had planned a fourth Spider-Man picture, the details of which have slowly seeped out over the years. The original Spider-Man trilogy has remained popular among fans in the 15 years after Raimi's last film. If Spider-Man 4 had been created, it would have been released in 2011. It was first announced in 2009. Instead, Raimi and the studio split apart, and Mark Webb was brought in to revive the series with The Amazing Spider-Man in 2012. While talking to Vulture in 2013, Raimi had said that it really was the most amicable and undramatic of breakups, it was simply that we had a deadline and I couldn't get the story to work on a level that I wanted it to work. I was very unhappy with Spider-Man 3, and I wanted to make Spider-Man 4 to end on a very high note, the best Spider-Man of them all. But I couldn't get the script together in time, due to my own failings, and I said to Sony, I don't want to make a movie that is less than great, so I think we shouldn't make this picture. Go ahead with your reboot, which you've been planning anyway. And Sony co-chairman Amy Pascal said, Thank you for not wasting the studio's money, and I appreciate your candor. So we left on the best of terms, both of us trying to do the best thing for fans, the good name of Spider-Man and Sony Studios. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.